guys, it's the Gunny here with Malachi Prime Media. As you see, we're here at Universal Studios Orlando, and we're coming here to bring you some updates for Halloween Horror Nights, which is going to be opening up in three weeks' time. And we got a couple different food and beverage structures that are built, a couple of the props for the scare zones have been put out, and a couple of really uh, high scaffoldings and decorative pumpkins and all kinds of interesting things, including the tribute store being changed over for the Halloween theme. So go ahead, enjoy the video, and we'll see you soon. So as you'll see here with some of the updates with Halloween Horror Nights, they already got some of these pumpkins here in the scaffold up high. They're pretty cool looking as well. As you'll see right here with the scaffolding, you got some pumpkins hanging. The pumpkins are here for Halloween Horror Nights, which is gonna be opening up here in about three weeks. As you look in closer on them, they look like they're gonna light up here in the night. It's gonna be some interesting ambiance as you cross through whenever you enter this Universal Studios front gate. scaffolding it's about 30 feet long 30 feet wide maybe 60 feet I'm a little off sometimes when it comes to the measurements I'm not the most accurate of people when it comes to that but it is what it is right all righty let's move on to our next stop as we approach over here by the Transformers ride you'll notice some structures are already built pretty nifty look as you can see up at the top looks like some poltergeist type paintings Probably be food and beverage stands. But as you can see, they got some really cool designs, and they're here specifically only for Halloween Horror Nights. And another food booth over here by the park. some enjoyment and entertainment for Halloween Horror Nights with the Major Sweets Candy Company, as you can see. They're gonna be parked right out here in front of the, what's potential to be the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store? Maybe. As you look at the Tribute Store, it's changed from the Back to the Future, Jaws, and E.T. to a orangist type theater where way more Halloween themed than it was before. So what kind of, what can we expect out of the tribute store this time? Will it be something related to Halloween? Will we get some of the classic movies in there? Are we gonna get Friday the 13th? Are we gonna have Halloween that's uh, represented here at Halloween Horror Nights in its own house? I guess we're only gonna find out. And as you'll see, the judges booth is going to be right front and center here at Halloween Horror Nights. Major Sweets Candy Company representing even more with the tractors and all of these other types of decorative materials. Right out in front of the mummy here, we have this awesome display for Halloween Horror Nights just for anybody to stand up and see. It's great, got pumpkins, got some roadblock barriers, got a cornfield in the back, so great photo ops, great photo ops. Even got some of these cool looking pumpkins hanging up on the light poles. Everybody's getting ready. Halloween will be here right before you know it. There it is, a stage. Right out here in front of the, right beside the arcade palace. When you come out the mummy, right in front of the mummy store. So I wonder what kind of entertainment we're gonna get on this stage. Hmm, guess we're gonna find out. Unknown tarp. For those that don't know, they usually only put the tarp on the scariest of items so that the day guests with the children aren't frightened so easily. So I wonder what kind of gore goes underneath the tarp here. Bring me good luck. And we got some more scaffolding over here by Shea Alcatraz over in San Francisco. Another scare zone. I wonder which one this will be. Going to be interesting. 
As we come around the corner here from the Fast and the Furious store, there's another stay set up with a cauldron and some horns and a big door. Man, they must have something really in store for this one. Can't wait till we get here on September 2nd. Yes, if you didn't know that, we'll be here live on, uh, we will be here live on opening night of Halloween Horror Nights and we will be live streaming across the bridge leading into Springfield. Looks like we have another food and beverage stand. Only for Halloween Horror Nights. And over here by the old Fear Factor show, looks like we're gonna have another food and beverage stand. So you'll be able to get your refreshments coming right out of the show at Halloween Horror Nights this year. Hey, if you're excited for Halloween Horror Nights and you wanna see more information on it, go ahead and do us a favor, subscribe to the channel like content and hit the bell notification button. We'll let you know when a new video is ready for you to view. And over in the Men in Black area again, we have another food and beverage tent. Specifically, we're put it here for Halloween Horror Nights. Got a little stone theme going here. Look a little medieval, if you know what I mean. Want to be interesting? Want to be good? Want to be appetizing? Want to be tasty? food and beverage stands. Of course, you know, Halloween Horror Nights is, it is only recommended for ages 13 and up. You can bring them in, I'm sure, but you're gonna have to deal with the middle of the night's terrors yourself if you do. Somebody will probably be walking across. Lighting. Now, for as many times as me and Ray visit this place, we've never noticed this before. Is this horror nice? Or is this just something new? Let us know down in the comment section. any Springfield visit without the Simpsons. Look at there, Homer and Bart doing their thing for the crowd. Now over here in Hollywood, we have some of the new structures. Some of these were the first structures put out for Halloween Horror Nights this year for this scare zone, but they've gotten a few more since the last time that we came down and saw the initial process happening. Not sure what kind of scare zone this is going to be. I, I'm, I've been told that they don't have any theme scare zones this year. They didn't get any IPs, but we'll see. Hence the reason we're all out here. But it's pretty cool seeing all this stuff out and about, getting into Halloween mode and theme.
looks to me like a broken candy cane with a gate hanging off of it. Maybe they could do it up for Christmas. Check the scare zone out. They have quite a bit of things out here to see. And if you come over here, they get so detailed. Look at this. A necklace. Flowers. And most more interesting is pennies and chains. Look at that. Some type of coins. Well, plastic, that is. Gonna be scary this year. I hope so. I hope so. You mind if I put you in the video? Awesome. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for following us.